Hey everyone, welcome to the Time Splitters Portal Community Holiday Podcast, Whoa. or the uh, Time Splitters Podcast, as some people have suggested. <laughs> what? Hello. Uh, I'm Hi. I'm uh, Chris Muffu. Chris, with me as always, we have drifting. Hi. But we're also joined by a variety of guests <laughs> here in the Peanut Gallery. We have uh, Josh. Hello. And we have uh, joining us this time. We have Cheese or Brandon or Genki. I or exist. That you do. <laughs> so and, and let's we, get... we have Matt here as well. Ohio. Oh, did I forget? Did I forget to mention him? I'm yeah. so sorry. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I'm Just... so sorry. Because because I see I see four squares and I say, well, I'm a person, yeah. so there's four people, but you there's actually too. five. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yes, indeed. I'm the only person who uses my actual face as an avatar. I realize. Yep. I use the pizza man. I Hail still the have the best. Pizza man. I guess they, they can't see our avatars. Maybe they, they can't. No, oh. they can't, which is probably for the best because it's cropped from porn. So They're missing out on a masterpiece. Are they? Are they really? Well, I think it's a very well, high quality piece. Well, let's get started here. Gentlemen, right. uh, Drifting, I heard you were eating nachos earlier. You want to tell us a little bit about that? They were nachos. They were good. How do you like your nachos? Are you a, just a, a, a chip and cheese guy, or do you like to mix it up? We put some jalapenos, uh, cream cheese, had, you gotta go. cream cheese, sour chips. cream. I had chips and cheese, and it had some hot sauce and stuff you on You gotta go the whole mile with, like, salsa and, like, vegetables yeah. on it. That's the best way to go. Uh, at my school, they, they, you can, they, have, they serve nachos, and they serve them with uh, salsa, meat, beans, uh, cheese, fucking anything you can think. But they are really greasy, and you get a bad stomach ache if you eat them. I that can't say awesome. I've nice. ever eaten nachos. What? How? What? You live in the United. You live in Ireland. How have you not eaten nachos? I thought they were like the national food of Ireland. <laughs> the Irish what? are known for their nachos. Of course. Yes. <laughs> how could I possibly I nas- forget? I thought the national food of Ireland Ireland was the potato. No. That's that's what it's 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 the potachos. It's their potato nachos. Ah, I see. Yeah, because those those are real. Yeah, they're called you, chips. You, yeah, yeah. You cut up a potato and you microwave the potato and then you put cheese on it. That's just a baked potato. We <laughs> 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 call it a potato nacho, so it all makes sense. I don't know if I've ever said this, but I really hate baked potatoes. Like, I can't stand a baked potato. Why? I don't know. I think it's because it requires so much customization, and I, I can't be bothered. So then I just eat a potato, and it's like, this is disgusting. Why am I just eating this potato? Well, yeah, just eating a raw potato is not exactly Just, a... just eating it raw, yeah. Yeah. I've never, um, I've never done that. Does that actually taste good? No, it doesn't. No. Oh. No, it doesn't. I thought it was something people did. People put things on because actual just potatoes don't taste very. I've good. already forgotten like, what we're talking like, about. Crap. Sorry, what's going on? Oh we're my about god! Potatoes. Yeah, potatoes. That looks delicious. I want that cake. Because, because hey our, everyone, welcome to the Potato Cast. Our <laughs> listeners want to hear more about potatoes. <laughs> You're the Irish man. That's why they listen. You should know about so, potatoes. I'm not an Irish. Do you li- oh. do you like your potatoes sweet or do you like them raw? I like sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes are pretty awesome. I. I oh god like whoa my potatoes undressed <laughs> <laughs> you make them strip slowly for you I Shame like for me I like to soak them in water and then peel them off this is the most sensual description of a potato I've ever heard <laughs> Can we find some potato fan fiction for future perfection to read? That's for a different podcast. No, oh, okay. I, you I are a salty potato in eternal darkness fan fiction. This podcast has Time Splitters Portal in the name, so we have to keep it clean, you know what I'm saying? No, we don't. Yes, of course. It's, of course. It's a Time Splitters Potato podcast. That's what the P stands for. Just, I found a fan fiction called You Are a Salty Potato, and it's kind of wondering. <laughs> <laughs> this podcast is going nowhere so quickly. 
here, why don't we like talk about the holidays? Because it's the holidays. No, no, no. I, I, I told you I was gonna talk about my lunch. Oh, the lunch. They just gradually like degrade. Like the first one was all plotted out, all like yep. specifically, and the second one was just us talking about whatever. And then this one has us talking about potatoes. So. <laughs> Yeah, I've been declined since we started doing that. Yeah. I spent like an hour and a half writing the outline for the first podcast, but then... I... Yeah. It ended up sounding like very scripted. And... Yeah. Yeah. So... And we had to redo the intro and it sounded horrible. God, and I had, I had, I had to redo the... In... So yeah, I messed up the recording and then uh, we were doing the intro the second time and I said, fuck it, this is not working at all. No, no. <laughs> So uh, today I went to this Vietnamese restaurant because um, I live in a there's a there's a large Vietnamese population in where I live because there was this whole war in Vietnam and a lot of people left. There and was a war in Vietnam. Tell us more about this war. There was a Vietnam. Uh, you see, the, we, we we the United States sent advisors to Vietnam and then there was the the Gulf of Tonkin incident and then we um, they gave the president a blank check and then. The, Forces were sent in, and then Saigon fell, and then it was all downhill from there. That was our anyway. history section. And that's not accurate at all, what I just said. Yeah, Don't. Yeah, well. Close enough. <laughs> anyway. It's so, yeah, I went to this restaurant called Bistro B, which is which is usually pretty nice. And, you know, I, I, I like I like uh, my food hot. Don't you? Don't you guys like your food hot? Yeah, generally. No. It depends on the food. Mm. Some like it hot. I like it hot. So I ordered this soup. I, I forget what it's called, but it was like Thai noodles or something, and it had the little pepper next I'm to it. I'm just going the, to assume uh, it's called Thai noodle soup. It, the the name was in Vietnamese, so I couldn't pronounce it. I just said, "I'll, I'll have this one, please," and I, I point to the. Ma- you know, it's it's a. I, I I hold the menu up to the lady and point at it because I don't speak Vietnamese, and um, and they do the thing where they say, "Oh, it's very hot." Because you're a white person and they don't think you can handle it. <sighs> oh and, right, and spicy. Right, I didn't. Re- I thought we were talking about how hot or cold it was. Ah, uh, that's what I thought too. Yeah, I did. I did as well. What? I, I, Just really say it. spicy next time. Yeah. So, um. So yeah, they do the the, the white person thing where they say, "Ah, oh, this food's so hot." Like I went to an Indian restaurant once and they sp- actually said like. Do you want it Indian hot or do you want it white hot? And that's I, I feel like I'm being discriminated against. That, that, but anyway, the soup came and it was. That. Anyway, the soup came and it was fucking terrible. Uh, it it's not the hotness. It was like it was really this like acidic. Like it yeah. made my stomach feel sick and I couldn't. Like it also got all over my fingers. Like my beard was orange when I was finished. Oh, and you can't even. Then your eyes get itchy and you you're like thinking about it. And you can't itch your eyes because then your eyes will turn like red from the sauce. This is why I don't eat this kind of stuff. I just ate and then, like a bunch of potatoes right. dipped in hot sauce. Actually, why did the why I would you dip it? That potatoes. sounds gross. They were like tiny potatoes. They're like tiny boiled potatoes. That sounds gross. Have you what never you had mean? spicy potato wedges? Spicy potato wedges? No, oh, I so I've good. had like a corn chip. Yeah, dude. <clears throat> I am clearly the expert of all things potato because I live in Ireland. So I ended up using like half a dozen napkins trying to keep myself clean to get this orange stuff off me. And then I was so embarrassed when when I finished my meal because there was just this giant wad of napkins on the table. So I, yeah, I I cleaned up and I, I took the napkins with me to the bathroom and threw them away. That's terrible. Fascinating. That's my that's my lunch story. I I, I I was so excited to share that with you all. I can't. I hope you appreciate it. You've done this. <laughs> so let's talk about Christmas. Let's talk about Hanukkah. Let's talk about Kwanzaa. Hanukkah. Ended, let's talk about Satan. Like, let's, let's talk, talk about, about Sa- Saturnalia. Talk about yeah, Saturnalia. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about you and me. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Uh, I I got this sweet laptop. I got this sweet microphone that I'm talking into right now. I got uh, uh, some pajamas I'm wearing. They have polar bears on them. I got a sweet pair of pajama pants also, but I'm not wearing them now because it's way too hot in here. 
Did anybody else participate in the secret Santa thing? Nope. Are we gonna Are we gonna disclose our misadventure? That would assume We've that I a, have money. I, I have we, money. we have We have had a misadventure with Secret Santa. I bought him a CD, and it was supposed to be Soft Machine. The, the album but, Third from Soft Machine, Pierre yeah, Scarufi's favorite. But instead, they sent him an Ocean Waves Nature Sounds CD. Hmm. And I've been trying to get it exchanged for about two weeks now. Two and weeks. Haven't had, haven't had any luck, yeah. It's been since like the 21st, I think, is when I first contacted him. Did anybody else yeah. participate in it? Well, um, Fezzi asking. and uh, Hanno theoretically participated in it, but I haven't heard back from them. Oh, that's too bad. I'm gonna go get a thing, hang on. Uh, I, I'm gonna get you your your gifts drifting. I, I would I spent like a hundred dollars on my sister's present, so I, I haven't had any money to buy, her buy anything else. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I bought her a hundred dollars worth of paint brushes. That's a lot. Wow. Because I figure she needs a good set, right? I, oh, uh, uh, Ballsy posted a Yowie in the link. Let's let's look at this. Wait, what what, what am I looking at? Uh, it's What's what? up with this guy's hair? <laughs> a bunch of bananas, I think. That's what I thought it was. It's like a potato with ice cream on it? No, it, they're mashed potatoes. Isn't that what they are? Mashed potatoes to make faces on top of regular potatoes? I guess you could do that. Yeah, you're right. Nobody knows what we're talking about. Like, nobody listening to this. It's okay, we'll put a link in the post. Yeah, there was like half a dozen pictures that went along with the last podcast, but I never actually put them up. Wow. Yeah. Like there was uh, the 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 poker face picture where there's the lady wearing a burka and the sunglasses, and there was a picture of a castle. There was a there's a picture of me with uh, my nail polish on. I don't remember any of these except the nail polish one. I remember. I remember looking at that one. There was a picture that said the tides have turned. <laughs> So there's that. Yes. Oh, tomorrow's New Year's Eve. Okay, yeah, th- this sure. is this is good because I wanted th- the one thing I wanted for this podcast was I wanted it to be a, us ringing in the new year. I wanted just to think back about Time Splitter's Portal Past and Time Splitter's Portal Future. Oh, okay, that's a good. Well, Future think... Perfect that is. Get it? Because there's a video game called Future, Future Perfect. I think Time Splitter's Portal will continue to whittle away. Wait, quick! As somebody make a pun. More people leave. No. I- ice to meet you. <laughs> that was pretty. Unless cool. Time Splitter's Rewind comes out, which Time Splitter's happen. Rewind comes out and uh, to mass indifference. Time yeah, because Time Splitter's Rewind is actually going to come out. Yeah, that's what I said. If it actually comes out. Yeah. They said they're gonna have a demo ready in December. And that didn't happen, <laughs> obviously, which I knew it wouldn't. I think they were hoping more people would sign on to help out. One yeah. thing that I'm amazed has actually happened is 4chan's made a Pokemon game. What they did? Yeah. Well, it's not done yet, but they've got the demo out. What, what's it like? How does it? How is it different? How is it 4chan-y? I know they made that Civilization game that was actually pretty cool. No, it's but, not. Uh, for Chani, they just made a, a good game. Like, it's not full of in jokes and oh. shit. Like, it's a proper attempt at a game, just like Katawa Shoujo was a proper attempt at something done by Four Chan. So uh, they, the people on VP, why the why is the board called VP? First of all, um, video game Pokemon. Like, it's a spin-off from from V video game. Sh- you're shitting me. This whole, vi- oh my. <laughs> yeah, it's just Is it, was it really that simple? Yeah, video games, bracket, Pokemon. Close bracket. Shit. <laughs> this whole time I was like, where, where does the V... Oh. I thought it was like Venusaur... Vaporeon. Shit. Yeah, uh, Venusaur Porteon, yeah. Just, just VP Vaporeon. Vaporeon for Vice President. Get Porion on the line. Vaporion. Vaporion. Yes. Thought, wait, Porygon is the Pokemon no, no. from Vaporion. You don't know Vaporion. Who is Vaporion? It's, uh, it's the an water Eevee Eevee. Eevee. 
Yeah. The water I, I, I don't play Pokemon. I've, I've never played Pokemon. You know you Porygon, but not Vaporeon. <clears throat> well, Porygon was in Super Smash Bros. Melee. So was Vaporeon, I think. Eevee was. <laughs> Thank you for that. Oh, a Vaporeon, yeah, I, I know this there one. There you go. Yeah. You could have just said the blue chick. I... Or the blue cat. You are single? Hmm? Hmm? I, I am, yes. That's disappointing. It's a VP joke. Oh, okay. You didn't get it. No one would get it. No one will ever know my jokes. Because they're so fortune humor. Drifting, you sound like a person who makes a fair amount of coffee. When you make a latte, how much milk do you put in? None. I drink my <laughs> coffee black. Is this I, the I, I drink special my of the podcast? I, tr- I do drink my coffee black usually, but today I decided I'm going to make a latte. So I made a, I, I made some espresso and then. I uh, uh, heated up a, 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 about a cup of milk, and I think it was a little bit too sweet. Yeah. No, I need coffee bitter in the morning, otherwise I can't wake up. Yeah. Coffee's gross. Like, really bitter. I, I, I Yeah, the, the, bit, the you know, more bitter you can get it, the I better. I used to like bitter things until I started drinking beer, now I love it. I, I can't stand the way beer tastes. Well, you haven't had good beer, then. I guess not. I had drinking, like Bud Light, and yeah, you are gonna hate beer. It's horrible beer. <laughs> Maybe that's the secret. I had a, a bottle of. Let's see, have you ever had like Angry Orchard? I think it was called. It's that's hard cider. I've had it once. I, I had that once when I was playing Roller Coaster Tycoon, and that was kind of all right. It's not really beer though. It it's isn't beer. Like, it, it's it, like four four percent alcohol. I think not very much. It came in a bottle. Well, it comes in a bottle, but it's not really beer. <laughs> I have a bottle, like an empty bottle next to me of Shiner. I decided I'm not going to drink till New Year's because I got way too drunk on Christmas Eve. <laughs> I drank a bunch of rum and coke and I blacked out about 8 o'clock in the morning, woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning in my parents' house on the couch, so... <laughs> that that sounds nice. like that a truly well. inspiring experience that should make all it of us was. change our lives. Exactly. Yeah, don't drink. Don't drink, kids. Don't drink. Yeah. I smoked weed don't. once. Now I'm an alcoholic and dead. <laughs> what does that make to Zimi then? I smoked weed and now I'm pregnant. <laughs> Causation is ind- undeniable. Inject three marijuanas directly into my arm. <laughs> when I was like 11, I totally thought you injected marijuana. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was worried that I would be like out somewhere at night and then someone would turn the corner and just like jab it into my arm and be like, ah, I've been marijuana I know someone who so. used to be in my class that used to sell people bags of herbs, passing it off as marijuana. Like cilantro? Yeah. Yeah. Mostly, um, mostly oregano. Oregano? Oregano. Stop being so American. (laughs) God, you fucking sick. Fucking yanks. You fucking yanks, dude. You just got done saying how much you love American accents. I don't think he recorded that. No, we don't have that as evidence anymore. Speaking of evidence, let's talk about Mafia. Oh, God. Okay. Get me started on you, you guys are all in the mafia, except for Brandon, <laughs> who wasn't. <laughs> Perfect timing. That was good. That was good Wait, stuff. am I in the mafia? Yeah, you are. Yes. Because isn't, isn't the host canonically always dead? And I'm implicating you. No, you, a zombie? You, were, you were in the mafia. Yeah, you were the head mafia, so... Yeah. I, this is news well, I, to I, me. I, I yeah. can... Okay. Well, I, don't, I I think anything we say is kind of uh, invalid because it's it's so subject to change. By the time people listen to this, the the game will be totally different. Sure. By the For time example, people listen to this, the game will probably be over. Seeing as you know, 
at this stage, it should be over after four more people die. Well, don't worry. We're gonna get Chris out, and then there's only two mafios left. And I think it's Silver J and that other person. Silver J. I never thought about Silver J. Silver J. Yeah. Silver J is one of those people that only shows up for mafia games. Yeah. Yeah, just he like a lot Bob the Joe Bob. Mm -hmm. Like, there isn't really much reason to post other than to play mafia. Yep. <laughs> He used to post a lot on the Rec Room and on uh, the Elder Hallows, but... It's pretty much kind of half the site posts on Mafia, half of them post on Survivors, and then half and half from each post in completely off-topic socialization thread. And, and that makes up the entire of the sausage. site. Just salt each other in the chat box. Yep. <laughs> and in fact, it's us it just randomly bumps four year old threads in an attempt to spark discussion. I had to that's give him a today. warning for yesterday. Is, is, that, is that what you were referencing in that image? Which image? Uh, there, there was that Christmas image, and it said, Don't mind me, I'm just pumping a four year old thread or something like that. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah. That Christmas image was like, I don't know, it was either last year or two years ago, but it's really outdated. I like that both of my characters are in it. I, I like that the the super cat's on there. I like that uh, yeah. th the whale I drew is in there. Yeah, it's so outdated that it only has uh, one TSP Cup winner. Now there's been four. Make a new one. No. We need it. It takes effort. Yeah. Far too much work. Yeah. I don't see how you guys can possibly think I'm in the Mafia after that image I sent you. Why yeah. suddenly changed the subject? It, it was very compelling. It was... That was my confession. I guess, can we... Speaking of confessions, go on, Josh. I was going to say, can we link to that picture? Or will we get in trouble? I don't know. I think I think that might be a little bit of a violation of form yeah, rules. Yeah, yeah. Like Jolteon cares. Just... I think, yeah, if, I think if Drifting posted, then it's a, it's automatically okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to give myself a warning, but it's all good. <laughs> I've only had to give one warning in like the past six months because nobody does anything anymore. Even if they do, it doesn't, it sad. doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. Did, did you ever hear about the time when I, I, I got warned for abusing the report system? Yes, I do. I remember that perfectly. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I reported someone for spelling never mind without the space. and. Uh, Chris reports everyone for everything. Like, anytime there's, like, anybody says LOL, it's like, report. <laughs> I remember... Like, he report he pr reports for, like, grammatical errors all the time. Is Chris the one that reported INH for just being a dick in Mafia? I was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I kind of wondered when someone said they got a complaint about him just being an ass. What? Yeah. <laughs> He was set instead Let's of see. saying if he'll play or not, he just kept oh, saying, yeah. "Can I be Santa?" <laughs> oh, it's her name here. Yeah, yeah. Somebody did report him for that, for her, I guess. That was me. Yes, her. It's definitely a grill. It's a guy. Mm -hmm. I can it's tell grill. it's a guy. No, it's a grill. Because one time, one time there was this thread. It was like, "Post your hairstyle." And her name here posted a hairstyle. And said, "This is kind of what my hair looks like," and it was a girl's picture. Uh, and then she, and then she immediately deleted the post yeah. like ten minutes later. But and okay, and there's there's no evidence of this because the site no longer exists. But on Split once, I think someone was asking for girl advice, and then she said something like, uh, "You should make the first move." I like it when guys do it, or something like that. And I, actually, yeah, that's... I have a copy of the site, and so does Arthur. But do you have maybe all the I, chat logs? Maybe maybe I N H is just gay. Like I I, I don't that's, think that's so. The you know? only thing is like. He's so into cars that it's kind of hard to tell if he's a girl or if he's gay. That's sad. Okay. I'm pretty sure she's a girl. I'm pretty, I'm sure. pretty sure it's a guy. You just... It's, Im it's impossible. It's impossible. Speaking of sexual orientations in cars, did you see that video of the guy who was in a relationship with his car? No. No. That that was a Queen song, Chris. <laughs> they, no, there there was a video. It was on, it's on it was on Cringe Channel, which no longer exists because it was taken down. But like, like it started out, and he was like making out with his car, and then it was it was a very uncomfortable video. That sounds beautiful. A true love story. I'm gonna search. I'm gonna go to Google and type in "man fucks car." That'll go. I'm well. sure you'll get very good results from that. Yeah. 
I can totally see that being a good idea. Alright, I'm on pr Yeah, I found it, actually. It's on pr Okay. Excuse the link, but I found the video. What's the link? What's I'm gonna post it in the chat. What's the link? PerezHilton.com Of course it's Perez Hilton. Of course it would be Perez Hilton. That's not where I saw I was on Cringe Channel, which no longer exists, yeah. but, uh... Oh, it's it's an episode of my strange addiction, of yeah. course. Yeah, and he talks about he talks about his love of his car. Yes, he has sex with his car. Uh, How? I don't get it. How would you do that? What? <laughs> well, uh, no. once once this well, video is once this podcast is over, Josh, I entreat to you to watch the video and find out for yourself. Where does a car have holes, I guess the Josh? No, oh, that sounds really painful. Oh, now, see, oh, watching God, this just reminds it. me of uh. that one video where a guy over Skype tells his dad that he's a brony and likes getting off to cartoon horses. Oh yeah, I watched that, that was hilarious. My dad was just sitting there like, mm. you get off to, to, to female horses cartoons? This is gonna Are be the greatest gay, family son? dinner ever. Alright, alright, well... When we got this new forum software, all the old moderator logs were deleted. I was gonna read some of the funny ones, but they're all gone. That's... I, I think insert name here has a backup of the site. I wonder if they're... Yeah. if she has them. I do see your warning for unconstructive posting, though, Chris. I, I think that's... I, I typed that the most. Unconstructive, yeah. unconstructive. Unconstructive posting. Plus two. Did, did Jolteon tell you that they were gonna... Uh, that they were gonna... No, it just okay. kinda happened. He didn't tell. He didn't tell Can us. Can someone explain yeah. to me what the whole issue with Split was? What? It was originally made for Josh's Which, cinema, wasn't yeah. it? But yeah. it never happened. No, it and then it ended up being a place where TSP members would go because they were mad at Jolteon. Yeah, because and then Dirk was down. And then Dirk Sniper 14 and myself went over there and ruined the whole thing. <laughs> Ruin it? But... Like what actually caused everything to go horribly wrong? Well, I think uh, well, Undead Priest sent out like a mass PM where he said like, "Yeah, fuck the oh, fuck Jolteon, get on this site," and then yeah. then he got banned or something. He got banned temporarily. Oh, I like, thought you were talking like, about why Split went down. There's no reason. Really. Oh no, I thought Split went down because infected sausage and Undead Priest like started spamming it, and Arthur just got. No. Up with it. No, well, that's because Arta like doesn't that. like anybody who isn't normal. I think I, like uh, Arta like instantly banned me when I made an account. No, you didn't. Didn't he? No, I. What? I would have unbanned you. Oh yeah, I remember I got, I got a PM from you. It says like, uh, let me see if I can find it. I'm just I gonna go over there and masquerade as Billy Mays, then he, insert he name did, in your he post. Did. Insert name here, insert name, no, but insert name here, like, I, my first post, she posted, like, high drifting, I'm like, crap. Fucking... I didn't, want, I didn't want anybody to know it was me. <laughs> that was probably the best post on either of the it, sites, though. What it is? It was, I really wish that I had saved it. I didn't save it. I still it. have a copy of the site. Yes. Uh, uh, the one where he says, like, hi there, Billy Mays here for, like, Time Footers 4 or something. Yeah. All right, I'm reading a post from uh, this is an PM from Josh at seven. No. Uh, sent on. No, it's not. Sent Josh on July. Josh seven. Sent on July 26, 2011. I don't think I was at a computer. I think I was actually in the mountains on that day. It said, "Hello, I'd like to apologize for Arthur's banning of you. You did nothing to deserve it, and should not have had any punishment. Also, that I like ticks in my mouth thing he did was inappropriate and pointless." <laughs> I also have a lot of uh, PMs here that the uh, M W whatever. Yeah, yeah. Um, that guy. What was his? What was his? The guy who tried to get, make us all go to a rareware forum because Time Splitters is dead. Apparently, rareware isn't. <laughs> we should all start a forum for My Little Pony. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do that. Kid, are you Let's fucking call kidding it me? You can't stand portal. up for yourself so you cry like a little bitch to Xylequin? What? Who's, I'm reading oh, this, this PM yeah. that he sent me. Forums are magic. <laughs> uh, I'm, sending, I'm reading this PM that MW sent me. Kid, are you okay. fucking kidding me? You can't stick up for yourself so you cry like a little bitch to Xylequin? Here's some fucking advice for you. If you don't want to be called... Uh, tr I'm, skip some. 
Don't go... Whatever. Whatever. He he just called me a lot of mean names, and I did not appreciate it. Uh, he was did also you cry? Banned. Yeah. He was banned. He made at least He was banned for counts. being a massive yeah. prick. Pretty much. He was. It was just, though. Like... What? What was just? What him bitching out Chris? His banning was just. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, it was. What? The, I don't know about the the whole deleting every post thing. That I don't know. Yeah, I didn't yeah that does kind of leave some conversations a little bit screwed up. Yeah. I remember we looked for an excuse to ban Chris Rabo, and then we finally found out he had like three accounts. <laughs> the excuse we needed. <laughs> because he just kept like coming in and he'd say stuff about like <laughs> or something. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I can't say that word. And Engers. Engers. A peanut butter. Peanut butters. <laughs> he would say things about peanut butters, <laughs> and so we'd ban him for a while, and we're like, we're tired of him, so, yeah. I well, that marks the I first time that the N-word has been dropped on this podcast. I will censor it out. I will insert, like, some tone there. You know what tone is. Are like, you going to treat this like sound. Chris Benoit and just erase it from history, regardless yeah. of the impact yes. it had? Yes, Just, it didn't happen. Exactly. You can't prove it happened, so it didn't happen. Shut the fuck up. can't prove anything. PM from Chris on April 6, 2012. Is Daydream Nation plagued by this thing you describe? Is Double Nickels on the Dime? Is Bitches Brew? Double Nickels on double the Dime. Double Album Syndrome. That album. Yeah, I, I, you, you were talking about like a double, uh, double, a double album, album syndrome, syndrome. is when an artist releases a double album, but they don't have enough good material, so they fill up the rest of it with crap. What about Exile on Main Street? I, I, I'm not a big fan of Exile on Main Street. I think a lot of it was kind of eh. I think Shine a Light's pretty great, especially if you're drunk. It, they ha Half the songs in there are good, but like... So who got Left for Dead gone. 2 for free from Steam? I did. I've had, it, I've had it for like two years, and I played it a few times, and I got kicked every time because the you community sucked. is horrible. It's oh. like, yeah, I did suck, but like I didn't know how to play the game, and like I'd die, and they just immediately hit you. <laughs> Damn it, no. Go away, cat. Who, who got so the, the lesson here? Fallout the lesson here is don't suck at games. You get kicked. Damn it. The end. Well, we should all play together one time. That's yeah. that's why I never play with other people because I'm horrible at all games. Yes. God damn it! My cat's sitting on the printer. <laughs> also, damn. I do like I do like the game mode in Left 4 Dead 2 where everybody's a tank. It's like it's a versus <laughs> mode. Eight people are tanks, and you just like run around. So it's stupid. Who picked up Fallout and Fallout 2 and Fallout Tactics when they were free? Oh, I, I did not. I did too. I did not know they all were the free. Game, all the games I have on GOG are games that I got for free because GOG, I can't use my credit card on there because they route money through Cypress and every time I try to pay for game through GOG, it gets my oh, credit damn card. damn it, the frozen. cat's headbutting the monitor. Is there any way you can talk to the company and... I've tried. They say they won't let me pay, so... The only way I could do it is through PayPal, which I'm too lazy. More like lame pal. Yeah. yeah. I I put my album on Bandcamp and I received a dollar in uh, PayPal, but to receive the dollar would require me to to make a PayPal premium account, which I don't want to do. So there's just this one dollar floating in space with my name on it that I'll never be able to claim. That's sad. Rest in peace, dog. Yeah, I'm gonna need that back. $1 Go away, cat. A very gross one dollar meal at McDonald's. Go away. You buy the McDouble and you buy the McChicken and you put the McChicken inside of the McDouble. I don't know what either yeah. of those are. Probably because you know, I, we're not fat you in this country. You don't eat food that's shit. <laughs> So what you do, what you... Okay, if you ever went to a McDonald's... I know McDonald's. about the McPotato. No, would you like to hear the best McDonald's story ever? I will what? tell you the best McDonald's story ever. No, I want I to find out what the McPotato no. is. Okay, do that first, and I have to tell you my Okay, story. the McPotato... <laughs> the McPotato doesn't exist... Yet. Oh. oh, okay. But we can make it exist. Let's say... We have the technology. Let's say it's a Big Mac with the patty replaced with a hash brown. Why the fuck not? 
Exactly. Now all you have to do is market that to McDonald's and see if they take it. The muck potato breakfast burger. Yay, I'm a millionaire. Exactly. Why well, stop there? The let replace the lettuce with potato <laughs> cut replace, into potato replace, leaves. Replace and replace the, the buns with, potato with two potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> No, get so potato like waffles <laughs> and just replace replace the buns with potato waffles. Replace the server with a potato. <laughs> the restaurant is a potato. <laughs> you are a potato. <laughs> you just go up to the counter and there's just potatoes laying behind the cash register. What if there's a potato inside <laughs> the potato? <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. The potato section. Alright, can I go back to a transition I was trying to make like 20 minutes ago? No. Yes. yes. That's not true. Alright, I was about talking potatoes. about my, my, uh, my Mafia confession. And um, I was saying, speaking of confessions, I finished Breaking Bad. Who else has finished Breaking Bad? No. I, I've never watched Breaking Bad. Alright, then I'm not going to talk about Breaking Bad. I, I, I just. It was really cool. I like the way it ended. Good to know. You should did you should end, watch it if you like things that are good. Did it end like The Sopranos, where it cut off in mid sentence? <laughs> no, it did not. I, I thought the ending was actually really well done. Really, it was really w- nice. Did it end like Lost, where you're just like really upset? I have a, I haven't seen up. I haven't seen the end of Lost. Oh okay. Break Basically, it down for me, break it down for me. everyone dies. No one survives. But they almost don't die, sort of. They're like. I saw a video that, like, was the idea of Lost that the whole thing was like a dog's dream or something? No. Pretty much. Okay. No, no. Supposedly. Uh, what happens in look, the end let's... is, like, they go to another. What dimension. happens in the end is absolute. Bullshit. Yeah. Oh, we should probably have a spoiler warning, oh, yeah. just just in case. Okay, spoiler warning for anybody who somehow hasn't seen Lost yet. Everyone dies. It's a fucking shit ending. It's a waste oh, no, of they, everyone's when, time. When they die, they go to another dimension, and then once everyone on the eye who crashed on the island fucking... had died, went to this church, and then they all were like greeting each other, and they're like, "Oh my God, I remember you, even though I only knew you in an alternate dimension." And then they walk through a giant church door. And then it's just like, I knew you for 20 minutes before you somehow died from magical black smoke. Yeah. God, I miss you. We were such good friends. <laughs> exactly. Oh, jeez. Well, now I know never to watch Lost. Yeah, really, like, it's good. Yeah. And then the, the thing that amazes me most about Lost is how on the entire time they managed to keep a dog alive, somehow. Yeah. Like, did they just feed the dog cereal or something? Well, they had a lot of provisions. They had a lot of cereal, and they fed the dog cereal every day. I don't know. It, like, are animals supposed to eat cereal? Because sometimes my cat tries to eat my cereal, and I don't think you're supposed to let her. Obviously, they That's can the... because the dog in Lost was surviving on cereal. Exactly. He lived for like We're talk- a bunch of years, and then they. Like, back yeah, they the like. Time. Don't they spend like all together like two or three years on the island? Something. Yeah, and they all and well, they keep the do- maybe more aside from the fact that the dog normal. was like, first of all, how did the dog even survive the plane crash? That's yep. uh, there you go. The dog had the seat in the upright position. <laughs> it had its tray table up. But like the dog, you'd think, being a dog, it would have died of shock or something, and not. Be- the fact that the dog was the last surviving thing from the plane on the island, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know if it was, maybe the entire show was just a twisted way of saying over the course of eight seasons that dogs are more important than people. Vincent is the smoke monster. This message brought to you by PETA. What if the dog was the smoke monster? That's that's what my sister said at the like second episode, she's like, Vincent is the smoke monster. I figured it out. And then he never maybe, died. Maybe the polar bear was actually the dog. <laughs> the polar bear at the very beginning? That does nothing. This show happen. sounds profoundly stupid. Maybe, maybe the writers just made it up as they went along. 
what if the entire thing and the guy's lottery numbers that need to kept being put on the island over and over to stop it from blowing up or something? Mm-hmm. What if they were the dog? <laughs> what if everyone is a dog except for the dog, which is like a person, and but then like. <laughs> Hey, hey guys, do you know what dog spelled backwards is? Oh my god. <gasps> oh my yeah, yeah, th- think about that, think about that. It's all Maybe the together. entire point was that actually everything was the dog, except the dog was was not the dog, oh my but god. was in fact the dog. We figured out the secrets <laughs> of the universe. <laughs> it all makes sense. Jesus. You swear this everything podcast was is made dog. Like four in the morning. We just got we just got very profound. I think they were probably just doped up on weed when they made Lost. Smoke weed every day. Like maybe they were just there like, whoa, look at this smoke. It's like a oh. it's like a dog, but it's a monster, yeah. Wow. And maybe they like, you know, saw a polar bear or something. And that's... Whoa, man! They like they went to the zoo and like ah. Oh, and of course, there. they somehow got a black horse on the island as well, and a, a hog. Like, like the horse from Mulan. And of course, we can't forget the fact the the island can teleport, which it did multiple times. <laughs> and you know, I never even, want to watch Lost. even though they couldn't I, get I signals really want anywhere, before, no, they I could actually, actually get it. signals. And how the entire thing was just full of dozens and dozens of loopholes and mm-hmm. stuff they never came back to. And ju- like that looking back on Desmond it, Lost was absolute shit. Did Wait, Desmond from Animal? Not Animal. <laughs> what if Desmond? Assassin's Creed. No, what if Desmond, Desmond no. was, the was Desmond guy. Tutu? They did like this entire arc, like story arc of him, and he like time travels, but nothing comes of it. He just stops time traveling, and that's how they resolve the conflict. What if Locke? Okay, what if Locke? Yeah. John Locke was the dog. John Locke, the English uh, philosopher. Yes. No, John Locke, the guy in Lost. Oh, okay. No. He was bald and had a and and was in a wheelchair, but of course a plane yeah, crash. The in Lost. Of course, everybody gets hurt by a plane crash. No, the exact opposite. He got healed by a plane crash. Yep. He was in a wheelchair, and the plane crash <laughs> made him able to walk again. <laughs> oh my god! And it was I'm just. Gonna die. And of course, you know, they all got off the island, and he was somehow back in a wheelchair. And then he tried to kill himself, but you know, he was in a wheelchair, so <laughs> someone strangled him and hung the body. More like a heel chair. Whoa. More like a dog chair because he was the dog. Oh. And the dog was also God. I don't know how to follow that. That's. I don't either. Thanks. That was perfect. So, in the I end, I should probably say something. Let's, everyone let's talk dies. About what a wonderful I, show! And I think so. I wonder how many people actually listen to these. Like, uh, and don't forget. I actually like a lot of people. Like, uh, you know, my my friend Nick was on the other podcast, and he apparently he, he sent it to all his friends. Like, I was talking to someone, oh, and he, he totally knew me. me. He's like, "Hey, you're from the podcast." Does Nick podcast. not like me? I want to be Nick's <laughs> friend. Would you would you call me? I'm Nick sad because me. Nick isn't my friend. I want to be Nick's friend. Why doesn't Nick send me podcasts? Yeah, I didn't get a podcast from Nick. What the hell? You were on the podcast. Yeah, but he didn't send it to me. Wow, what an asshole. Fuck Nick. I don't need him to be my friend. Yeah, who the fuck needs Nick? Fuck Nick. I don't Nick. need Nick. I don't need no Nick. Nick is not um, getting a potato for Christmas next year. <laughs> getting a lump of, uh, of well, blackened potato. A lump He's of getting Nick. a lump, a lump of potato skins. Yes. I love potato skins. We bought potato skins to have on New Year's because, you know, <laughs> potato. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Now that I think about it, I think I've probably had potato some in some. 
I probably have potato like five, maybe six times a week. God damn. Yeah, Everything right, is right, potato. Right. Everything is potato. It's not even a stereotype. Everybody just eats potato here. <laughs> Apparently, my brother's telling me to picture potatoes eating human skins. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Can you find some pornographic pictures depicting that? Did now you that I think about the... it, that's actually completely horrifying. Yeah. There was a picture I saw um, a couple weeks ago. They had these like trees gathered around a human for Christmas. Oh yeah. The, the, the trees like, were gathered around a human. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like they, Everyone, they put up their uh, their Christmas. No, the human. presents were gathered around a human, and they were unwrapping their trees. Uh. Alright, I'm gonna pull up a news article and we're gonna discuss it. We're going right. to pull up a news article about yep. Christmas trees? No, I'm just gonna go to motherjones.com. Mother Mother I'm Jones. going to go to The Onion and find out what news stories we can talk about. Mother Jones is a horrible So, guys, section. did you hear about okay. how um, the star athlete of the city's professional sports team was arrested in the late hours of yesterday evening? <laughs> No, why? I can't believe no. the athlete, the professional in that sport, would do something to that city like that. Did you hear about Alabama? What about Alabama? Well, a lot of things happened in Alabama. There was this whole war where um, they they fought. Anyway, but it says here there's an outrage, but we're not going to touch that because that's a little, a little too heavy for our podcast, you know. This, this is about a Confederate flag. Let's no, talk about, about this you know, guy, fantastic uh, news article. Relatives gather from all across the country to stare into various screens together, whether that be a television, a tablet, or a DS. People have spent their Christmas holidays collectively looking at screens in happiness. Yeah, there was a man who um, who uh, he uh, uh, assaulted a, a young woman, but he's not going to do time. But we're not going to touch that because. That's a little heavy, a little too heavy for well, no, our. No, we wouldn't want to touch her a second time. <laughs> cheese, play, play, play the sound again. Cheese, cheese. God damn it. What? Play the sound oh, again. Uh, uh, hang on. There we go. I nice. hope that's recording. That was terrible. Oh Jesus, my kick is just retarded. That that was truly a terrible joke. Oh Jesus. So, 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 Jesus Christ! Jeez, jeez! Tell us about Rock Band. Tell us about y your uh, Rock Band. Um, I played it. Are the Are the Pixies? Are they in a Rock Band? I don't. I I I haven't checked. Do you have the Green Day Rock no. Band? What? Why don't, why don't you have the Green it's Day Rock too Band? Green. I muted my microphone. Yeah, burn green thing. God damn it, this podcast has hit a wall. New season is about to Let me fix that for you. Guys, something terrible I fixed it. After 63 years of road tripping, the Volkswagen bus will not be made anymore. What? This is completely unrelated. We need to go have a run on... continuing the Volkswagen bus. We need to go have a run on Volkswagen buses before they all go away. I know. We need to do a cross-country road trip and make an indie film about it. Oh, let's, record, yep. let's record a continual podcast, so you starting in Chicago, go all the way down to Texas and pick, up Chris, and pick up every member along the way. And then we'll fly across the ocean and get future perfection. We'll across in our the ocean. In we'll our magical wings on our Volkswagen van. <laughs> we'll get Miss Frizzle and she'll turn our uh, bus Adventure. into a rocket. Exactly. No. I remember that show still. I was watching it pretty recently, like last week. Oh, well, I wouldn't go that far, but yeah. It's all on YouTube, and I will watch the one. There's a weird. Oh God, let me let me talk about scientific errors in the Magic School Bus. There's one part where this girl is trying to show her independence by because she's on Pluto for some reason, and she says, "Watch this, guys," and then she fucking takes off her helmet. 
on the surface of Pluto. <laughs> and, and then her head. And then she realized she was sitting on a dog. And the dog was God. Um, and the dog was Pluto. <laughs> oh, you asshole! You fuck up! Oh, fuck you! <laughs> Isn't it kind of strange, though, how Goofy is a sentient dog that could talk, and Pluto is... I'm just gonna just sit here and make bad puns all night. Isn't it kind of strange how, like, Goofy has children? Is Goofy retarded? He, like... he has a divorced wife. I'm pretty sure he has Downs or something, I don't know. And he also like, owns a slave, apparently. Really? What, who? Pluto is his slave, right? I guess they are both dogs. Pluto is Goofy's slave. Yeah. Well, that makes that makes a lot of sense now. But that wouldn't mean that Pluto couldn't talk. He's a really he's a really dumb slave. Oh. Even dumber than Goofy. Drifting, can you tell uh, Josh all about Brave New World? I was. What? Oh yeah. Brave New me, World. He told me something is about like a, kids have sex in it. It's a dystopian novel, and bad things happen. <laughs> no fucking shit. Exactly. Bad things happen. Yeah, I was, I was, I was talking about how when I when we were assigned the book in the uh, couple years ago, like it, it really frustrated me because, like there were there were a lot of girls in my year and, and like all they seemed to get out of it was like, ah, oh, it's so creepy because it depicts these children having sex. Like I, it really frustrated me that that was all they got out of this book. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> was it a good book? I thought it was all right. Oh god, I'm I'm just. Chris, did you ever finish Don Quixote? I've fucking read like fifty pages of it. I'm so sorry. Oh, wow. I'm so ashamed. I finished it like a month ago. It's a pretty good book if you're. You guys are all really it. lame. We are. Oh. Hey. Hey, who saw Desolation of the sm Smog? Yeah. You know, we could live we we could live it up this podcast by inviting Echo Sound Test Service. Yes. yes. Let's I'll, let's I'll, I'm, I'll let's it. all add our own Echo Service once. I'm trying to find it. Alright, let's add Carlos Fuentes. We won't be able to we won't be able to hear him because he's not gonna be recording himself, but let's just add him. And Echo. Oh, Echo is here. Oh, hey, oh, no. hey, Echo, say hello. It didn't work. Screw Echo you, Echo. Home. Apparently, I don't even have an Echo sound device on my no, Skype. No, it, it doesn't show up to add to call. No hey, one is Carlos. on. Carlos is ignoring us. Or maybe he has better things to do. Maybe you can't no add on. echo to the call because, ironically, that would be really you don't dumb. want to be able to hear your own echo. Fair enough. I can add... No one is on! Aiden. Yeah. Aiden is on. I'm on. Aiden. Um... Well, let's not add him because he wouldn't be recording himself. Shark... Oh, what was his name? Uh... Shark Piston. No. Shark P That's a fantastic name. Shark Gun. What? Shark Gun. Shark, shark Piston gun. sounds fantastic. We should... Shark that's Section. Shark Piston sounds like some sort of independent rock band. Wait, is Carlos in the call? No. You pretty convincingly nope. pretend. It's oh. like, hey, did you go and see that Shark Pistons concert last night? Yeah. It was radical. It was Kularoni. Josh, go, no, we're not. He, we're not going to make him record himself. It's too late for that. We're already like fifty-seven minutes into the podcast. Uh, no, we're like an hour and twelve in. We can't be because I have fifty-six and a half minutes. Oh, okay. I have fifty-six and a third. I'm really scared that Carlos is going to say something funny and we won't be able to record it. <laughs> just silence. Ha 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 ha. We can just ha, say ha. anytime nobody says something, it was Carlos talking. <laughs> <laughs> it's been Carlos all along, that's why we have nothing to say. We can just have Carlos make loads of bad jokes and like, Carlos, just like in that TV show that yeah, one time. Like <laughs> 
Uh, there's the only other person from Tunsplitter's portal online. Oh, Infected Sausage is online. Uh, and no. why don't we, we can invite him and then Josh can ask him why he made him have such a terrible accent. Because I know we all want to know the answer to that. Uh, he said that my fanfiction podcast was quote unquote disgusting. No. So I reported, I reported he, him. He explained to me why he had the really bad accent. I don't know about you, but I think any fanfiction podcast would be better if I was there. Yeah, we wanted you to be on, but uh, you agree. couldn't. And we said we said we were going to record it without yeah, you. that's why Nick was there. He was a replacement. Well, I, Nick didn't send me any podcasts, so fuck Nick. I know. I thought Nick... How, how could he? I trusted Nick. I Let's trusted ask uh, Carlos Nick. if he knows any Def Leppard songs. Carlos. Carlos, do you know any Def Leppard songs? Why would he know Def Leppard songs? It's not like they'd be able to hear themselves. Carlos, we can hear you typing. <laughs> You're typing very loudly. Um, by the way, that I that's why Infected Sausage gave me the... He calls it the weh accent, or weh voice. Why is there another one-word sentence game? I feel like this is going to end in spam. It is. It, it always does. does. Remember the fucking counting thread? Spam. Do you remember the counting thread? No. I do remember the counting thread. Yes. We should have more got... threads that just that involve was... randomly posting absolutely nothing of any value whatsoever. That was one of the few threads that actually got locked because it had no substance to it whatsoever. And then Justin got all pissy like, oh. Like, oh. It's like, yeah, they can we, take I, our... I believe, <laughs> they can take I believe our the lives, word was fascist. But they can we never take fascist. our desire to like count. It. Make a oh. fucking post that just says two. Oh god damn it! That well, fucking... Brandon counts in the chat box all the time, so I mean. Yeah, but it's the chat box. It's not an actual. There's a there's a big difference between the chat box and a thread on the also, side. The hey hey, garbage. shut the fuck up. It's bad. Speaking of uh, speaking of the chat box, do you guys like it like uh, animorphs? <laughs> no. <laughs> Now I'm kind of wondering what that has to do <laughs> yeah. with the Yeah chat. <laughs> I was talking to wait the Gretel Mick Monkey and wait a, minute, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I found something completely completely related to this. Something completely related to this this conversation. Who's playing that music? So, so, so guys, 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 did you play any video games? I don't this know year? what a video game what is. What was your favorite video game of 2013? I am playing Football Manager as we speak. I'm black. Is Saints that your Row 4. Saints Row 4, you said? Yes. I know you posted some pictures of that. Give me your thoughts. Give me your takeaway from the Saints Row the 4. As a Saints Row game, it makes no sense. As a video game in general, it's pretty good. Uh, how does it compare to the third? Brandon is I, haven't played I can't tell if I Brandon don't... is posting a sexy fanfiction or a violent fanfiction. Uh, I think it's... Both. pretty sure it's both, yeah. Actually, I think it's just a violent one. I'll link you to it. All fanfiction seems to be either terrible, violent, or sexy. Superman 64 is the best game of all time. Yeah. And Superman 64 takes it away. Time Splitters Portal is official game of 2013. Yeah, I think. No, the game. Okay, no, the official game of 2014 30. is. 20, oh, no, no, we're, we're naming the game of 2014 before 2014 has even happened. Is it Ride to Hell Retribution? The game it's, of. It's, it's, no, okay, first of all, the game of 2013, I think we can all agree on, is Farming Simulator. But yeah. Farming Simulator. Yeah. Let's have a round of applause for yes. Farming Simulator. <laughs> yes. I, I prefer Woodcutting Simulator myself. That's because you're. Trash. But I think we can all agree that the game of 2014 is going to be um, 
I think the game of 2014 will probably be Smurfs Gone Wild. Is that like a Smurfs porn game? <laughs> no, <Smurfs> no. <laughs> well, then I don't want to play it. I only want to play Smurfs, Smurfs porn game. I'm sure you would Smurf the fuck out of them, but that's irrelevant. It's like a visual novel, but all the characters are Smurfs, like anime Smurfs. <laughs> the, the backup Smurf kid. Kata was Smurf Smurfs joke. society only has one female, so I'm not really sure how that would work for me as a straight man. But Actually, well, you, play, you play as the female. Yeah. Smurfette, is, uh, oh, okay. Smurfette is actually a regular Smurf, but was turned into a Smurfette by the evil wizard guy. That was, for some reason... We should all play Hatterful Boyfriend. That's the best visual novel. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. For those who don't know, it's, it's the wonderful the world where you, um... Simply put, you are a pigeon, and you date other pigeons. No, you're a human in the pigeon world, aren't you? You're a human in a pigeon's body, and you go to Pig Saint Pigeon Nation High yeah. School, and you date me. other high school pigeons, or alternatively, date the high school pigeon doctor, who eventually, spoiler alert, kills you oh. by decapitating you and eating you. I'm in for that. Let's go for that one. We should all play together and what? go down. We should do this What's on G plus. Yeah. Let's talk yeah. about mutant fuck kingdom. Me and Fuck Kingdom, Game of 2013, absolutely. Yes. yes. Hurtful Boyfriend is Game of 2012, just so we know. Yeah. Just, we have D to... D um, Scott, did, I mean, Tim, or Drifting, or whatever. I should change my name on here, because everybody calls me Scott, but go ahead. Uh, did you, uh, after you watched the Red Super Prairie video, did you go and play the game to see the parts that were removed? I had actually played the game before what? that, unfortunately. What? I had... <laughs> What game are we talking about? I played, it, I played not it, paying attention. I played it, Meat and Fuck Kingdom. It's on Newgrounds. I'm so sorry. I'm I had so actually sorry. played it before because like, somebody linked to it on something awful back when the paywall was down. So I you clicked just... it and <sighs> I. Does anyone it. have four bucks to buy Hatful Boyfriend or know where we can get an English download? Uh, where I can you buy $4. it? I, I know where to buy it, but whoever buys it has to play it. Well, do you have like a link or something? I have a link. Look, I'm already going to spend I all, sort my, of want all my to play money on uh, this game for drifting. Just uh, for f okay, okay. Yeah, we we could totally play it on Google Plus because uh, the the problem I had with Google Plus was that the sound weren't the sounds weren't recorded. But uh, I think it kind of solves both problems if it's a visual novel because, like, the screen share is slow, but it doesn't really matter because it's just a visual novel. And uh, there's no sound, but who cares? Oh, cause... I don't know where... oh god, it's all in Japanese, and I don't know where to find the English link. Uh... So you have to admit, though, this is the most promising picture for advertising a game ever. Um, I don't know, Chris. You think people would want to listen to this podcast? I think we should we should probably close this pretty soon. Yeah. Yes, let's let's do Hat of a Boyfriend in a completely different place. Um, if only so I can get out of this closet, which is like a million degrees right now. Why don't you just get out of the closet then? Why do you have to? What was in that media it's, fire well, it's, that's it's, been taken down? Uh, What's up with media fire? Taken down. Uh, yeah, the, that media fire says. Um, it's an English uh, patch. Yeah, it violated our terms of service. It said the pirate bay is blocked in this country. Damn it! Uh -huh. Is it really? Yes. I wonder if I can just proxy it. If I recorded it outside of my closet, you would hear the fish tank, and Josh yeah, can attest can, to how loud. I, I thought that oh, he was there we go. overreacting, but it's, it's true. I see. Ah, here we go. Uh, I am now torrenting Had a Full Boyfriend. Oh, I was gonna torrent this. Oh, well, okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap this podcast up. I think hey, everyone, it's been a great year, 2013. It's gonna go down in history as the year that everyone died. Take us out, Carlos. So, haha, <laughs> great one, well, Carlos. <laughs> oh, you you rascal! Oh, that was that was hilarious. Um, that that's probably the best ending we've ever had on this show.
Oh God! Oh man, man that Carlos was rich. Right that, that, don't you wish you that, could read Carlos's message like me? That is one that I've got to keep don't for you. using on my own friends. That is just gold. Yeah. Oh man. So from oh, all God, of us, you just at can't the keep this guy from making great jokes. <laughs> he just keeps coming. Oh, you. <laughs> and so do I. From all of us at the Time Splitters <laughs> Portal podcast, so does Chris's cat. Which, wishing you, this is uh, Chris Muffet Chris with me. We have uh, Future Perfection, other people. Wait, I want to say goodbye. Brandon just left. Goodbye, say goodbye then. Goodbye, what the hell are you waiting for? Bye. I hope you all have a nice 2015. Cheese yeah. has already hung up, so. It... We, we love you, except for Cheese, who doesn't. Yeah. Anyway, have a merry whatever you celebrate. Merry Chris New Mokwans in this. Have a happy Martin Luther King Day. Thank you so much.